Let's say we're given the function f of x equals 3x plus 5, and we're asked to find the strange looking thing f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. We're also told that not only do we need to find it, we also need to simplify it. So there might be a little bit of algebra involved towards the end. Just as a point of note, this expression here, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, is actually called the difference quotient. You'll learn more about this in college algebra in future courses, but just a little point of note. Now the easiest way to get lost in this problem is to do the whole thing or to take a huge bite of the apple. My suggestion would be to go in stages, do it in pieces so that the question never gets unmanageable. So instead of trying to find the whole thing here at once, I'm going to approach it in pieces by just finding f of x plus h first. And that's what I've done here. So f of x plus h means wherever I see an x in the original problem, I'm going to replace it with x plus h. So here 3 times x gets replaced with x plus h plus 5. Now we can definitely clean this up by perhaps distributing the 3, and that gives us 3x plus 3h plus 5. Next, I can bring in another term of what I'm being asked to find. I know what f of x plus h is. I can subtract from that f of x. So I first write down f of x plus h, 3x plus 3h plus 5. And from that, I'm going to subtract away 3x plus 5. Again, please remember parentheses. When we distribute the negative, negative times 3x gives us negative 3x. Negative times the 5 gives us negative 5. Now at this stage, we can combine like terms. But here, hopefully you see that 3x and negative 3x will cancel each other out. And so will the 5 and the negative 5. So the only term really left behind is 3h. Now the last piece of the puzzle is the division by h. I've already simplified, well, found and simplified the numerator. The numerator is just 3h. Now if I divide this by h, the h's will cancel, leaving behind just 3 as the answer. So what that tells me is, if my function is 3x plus 5, the difference quotient, or f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, is just going to be the number 3. So we've found it, and it's as simple as it gets. We can't simplify it further.